Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife and Resources Agency. Hey, good Saturday morning. Wow. You got it's it. It's so early. Keep going, Ron. Keep going. <laughs> Welcome back to Outdoors <laughs> there with you Larry go. Ray. You know, it's early in the morning for me, but yeah. it's so good to get up uh, early, early in the morning once or twice a month. Yes. Sir. Because then I can get out on the water a little bit earlier. Yes, you can. But uh, talking about water, you know, we've talked nothing but fishing. We have. This whole yes, we have. show. I hadn't realized and that. Golly, that's all it's going to be. You know what? That's so good. Yeah. But I got to tell you and talk about our next guest. Yes. Fishing. Yes. This man's company probably sells more fishing lures than almost any other company in the world. Probably giving more lures to junior fishing to rodeo companies than anybody I know, too. Very, very um, giving company, great company. Yes. TTI Blakemore is the parent company, and we are fortunate this morning to have the director of sales, marketing, pro staff, and Chief he, does, him up. he does everything. Yeah. Ron Stallings. Good morning, Ron. Good morning, gentlemen. How are you? Doing well. Does he uh, not have a radio voice? Does, does Ron not have a he radio He has a face for radio. I didn't say that. I said he had a radio <laughs> voice. I made the mistake and said that to a woman not too long ago, and she kind of got bad at me. But uh, <laughs> So you set up this, Ron. Good morning, Ron Stallings. And uh, I'll let, uh, Good morning. let the other Ron, let Wong take over here. So, but no. All right. You, you know what, Ron? Had the pleasure of spending a lot of time with you at the recent ICAST show. Yeah. And yes. uh, which you guys uh, introduced uh, several new products. And, and then we talked a little bit about uh, demand and supply and th- those kind of things. Yes. Yeah. But there sure. was a hook that you oh, guys yeah. introduced at uh, the ICAST show. Tell our listeners yes. about this all new hook that you guys came out with well the thing is uh this this new hook is is all advanced new advanced technology in in point and in uh shape huh. and in uh basically the the finish the 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 finish is now a is a new technology of nano finish and it's a non flash yes. but the cool thing about it is is it helps it slide through the fish's mouth on the hooks that accelerates as you set the hook. And part of that is is the point itself. Yeah, I know people have seen four cutting edges before, mm-hmm. but most of the cutting edges usually have a slightly higher edge around it that's wider than the shank of the hook. Mm-hmm. So these these edges do not extend past the shank of the hook so it keeps the keeps the hole small, but by the same token, when it's small like that, that means you can decrease the size of the barb. So we've gone to an ultra micro barb, and the two complaints that I well, the first complaint I got out of it is the, when we were testing is is the guy called me and says I can't get this thing out of the fish's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I said, "Well, is that a problem?" <laughs> and um, he basically said, "No." But um, he did he did set up on a lot of fish, and he did tell me that that using these has increased his hookup ratio significantly. Now, this is the same guy that still holds the FLW one day weight record Ooh. that uh, helped helped us with this. Okay, and uh, yes. he's a yeah. he's a phenomenal fisherman. Uh, he's out in Texas. He he's been doing this forever. And we, we kind of tapped into his knowledge to help us with this. Now, the next thing about this hook is you got the point, you got the you got the nano new nanotechnology finish on there. You have perfectly closed eyes so small braid can't slip through. But the key ingredient in this, and this was across the board with all the people that we tapped for their for their knowledge and their technical knowledge, uh-huh. was they say that every hook that they've ever used, including ours, the Daiichis and the X points and whatnot, yeah. they would they would lift that point up just a couple of degrees. Well, now it comes out of the package with a three degree up point. So okay. you're, you're getting you're getting a quicker bite from the hook, and you're getting an accelerated hook set. So now these are going to come in a wacky Nico style hook, a drop shot hook, an offset hook with an O'Shaughnessy bend, 
an EWG style hook, oh, and we have an offset wide gap, and they go all the way up to six alt. Amazing, yeah. all the way up it's, to six it's alt. It's really an amazing hook. Uh, I'm looking at it uh, right here. At, uh, yeah, I'm looking at it. At, yeah. at, at uh, ICAS, I was fortunate to get my hands on a couple of them. Oh, uh, only, uh, only and, a couple. And, they, uh, and I have to tell you, I have started using them. You better. And Ron is on target. Uh, once you set the hook, it's in the fish's uh, lips somewhere, and yep. it does not come out. It really is. And the, and this this hook is a is a Pro X hook, and, and that's the name of it. I'm looking yeah. at it. And, Pro uh, X. Yeah. Ron. Now, when, Larry, Larry, while you're looking at that point, take a yes. real close look at those grooves in on, at, at the it. edge of the point. You'll yes. notice that they don't extend past the size of the wire. No, they don't. But the other the other thing is is when you, when this goes into the fish's mouth, that that point makes separation cuts in the fish's mouth that actually stick. Oh, Instead man. of having a round hole, you've got almost like a diamond shaped hole yeah. where there's still still some meat around it that that the, the meat will stick to the hook. I mean it's it's Amazing. it ain't yeah. going nowhere. No. Ron, no. when will this hook be available? Yeah. That's what I was uh, November first. November first. Yeah, I'm be looking at it right here. here. Yeah. And it's I, an amazing and the finish on it. You know what Teflon's like in a frying pan? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. This finish is slick. Slick. It's oh, yeah. Slick. And what it does, when you're using it on a Texas rig plastic, uh-huh. it yeah. goes through the plastic so much quicker that is cool. to give you a better hook set. I have to tell you. Well, that. that's, 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 the other, that's, the, that's the other reason why we did the three-degree upturn. Because most, most hooks you'll notice, like especially EWG-style hooks, the yeah. eye is perfectly in line with the point. So when you go yeah, to that's that, what you're going to yeah. miss yeah. the fish. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's going to go into in plastic way. first, then up. That's right. Well, yeah. I mean, you And got... this is already going up, so you're going to have positive hook sets all the way through. Yeah. Ron, you know, that was one of the items. Uh, you came out with you a, got some a many Vibe. Here. I'm looking at them here, uh, man. Which, yeah. uh, Roadrunner Vibe, which was new. Talked a little bit about all of some of your products, especially on the Roadrunner side of the Business. Roadrunner, you said the magic uh, word oh, yeah. there, buddy. Oh, uh, man, you know that's right. Roadrunners, Roadrunners, Roadrunners catch fish, man. All you got to do is cast and retrieve. But this new one out there that we've come out with called the Vibe Runner. Yeah, the Vibe Runner. The yep. Vibe Runner. I see it here. Yep. I'm looking at these yep. things. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, they're they're really it's a really sexy packaging. It looks really nice, and 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 the the lure itself is very sexy. It has a it has a ninety degree twisted tail. So when when you look at the back end of this of a, of any kind of curly tail, when the when the tail comes off that body, it just runs straight down and curls back into yeah. the bottom of right. the bait. Yeah. This has a ninety degree twisted tail and uh-huh. curls away from it and down. So I that actually yeah. right, it actually causes a slight vibration in the water Mm -hmm. and one of our one of our crappie pros who was testing this out um he has a private lake and he said first second third cast fish 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 i mean just he just kept catching fish on this thing Mm -hmm. bluegill crappie he even caught a catfish a bass i mean (laughs) excuse me but it was it's a fantastic bait um i don't think we prismized what willow blade i mean it's a it's an oversized hook yeah. So it's a it's a it's a real winner in our category. I, of, I don't of think runner. we've ever uh, used the word "sexy hook" on this show uh, in our no, years, you haven't. know. But I mean, uh, uh, I, and I have to tell you, <laughs> I do have a few samples of these. Oh, also, you do? Okay. And I can't, you know, I haven't been crappie fishing since I cast, but I can't wait to you try better, it out. These guys have been. I, I, I didn't realize this, and uh, of course, uh, Ron, I can't talk to you without without mentioning your brother. I mean, sure, uh, because uh, he meant so much to this show in our 20 years. We celebrated our 20th anniversary last Saturday, mm-hmm. 20 years well, on there, 1,044 shows. Nice. And uh, I know uh, TJ was, you know, so good to us about any time we needed anything for a fishing rodeo or anything along that line, uh, he, he was there. And then you've come right along and uh, – uh, you don't replace people like that, but I know the the tightness there keeps that tradition going. And I I wanted to thank you guys. I did not realize that y'all had been in the business since '58. I don't mean 1858, but uh, <laughs> pretty, some, close. pretty close. Pretty <laughs> close. Feels mean, like 1958, it anyway. and you're still in Watumpka, 
Alabama. Wetumpka, Alabama. Yeah. Well, Great that's place. that's actually that's actually True Turn has been around since then. But TJ and I started in the business in 1970. Seventy. At our tackle. Okay, so True Turn our, was in '58, and then you yes. guys came in in 19. That's still, and that's still 1970. We want to make anything. That's a in. long time. That's a long We're time. Pretty close. I yeah. Mean, yeah. I mean, they, I've, I've I've got the scars <laughs> and the t-shirt and the beer mug for it. Yeah, us, you so. have to. Well, you guys, you know, this is as Bill Dance just said. Last year was uh, the pandemic was, uh, you know, we dealing with it, we're still dealing with it now. But there were more people fishing last year than ever before. License yep, sales were right. up and things along mm-hmm. that line. What, uh, what, what, what happened to you guys in 2020? How did, how did that year go for, for you guys? Well, it went, um, actually, it went very, very well for us. Um, we were, we were lucky enough to, follow the guidelines from the federal government and from uh, from our local government here in Alabama, and we were able to stay open through the pandemic because of the separation there of, of okay. all of us. Yeah. And uh, we, we stayed in business, and we were in stock really, really good at the time of, of, of everything happening uh, last year. Okay. And yeah. we, we slowly dwindled down in stock because there were shipping problems and whatnot, but we're getting back, back together and you know, luckily, we've heard from tons of our customers we've shipped better than anybody else. So there you we, go. we've we, yeah. we've gone around the curve, and we haven't. Uh, we've still got you know issues, just like everybody else. There's certain things you can't get, and certain things that just aren't working. And you know, because of shutdowns, and people can't make components like blades and swivels and hooks and whatnot. So yes. we're we're coming around that curve now, and uh, we're starting to see our our shipping area is starting to fill in, and and it's starting to look a lot better and. You know, there's not a lot of echoes going on when you walk That's out in the good. warehouse. It's actually closed <laughs> right. off yeah. now to cause all the boxes. So, well, you yeah, don't need you don't need a lot of computer chips, do you? I mean, uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> well, if you know where a few are, I know there's about fifty thousand guys would like to have that on their new trucks if they could get <laughs> yeah. a new truck. But uh, well, yeah, it's not it's not just our industry. Everybody's no, it is. You know, kind of kind of messed up, but you know. We uh, we were we were blessed and, and and lucky enough to to be in the right position and and lucky enough to have the amount of employees that that kept us in in the guidelines yes, of the yeah. federal government local government. So well, we stayed open through the whole thing and we washed our hands and did the mask thing and we stayed away from each other go. and, and yeah. you know it worked it worked out really good. Well, Ron's Ron, Ron, appreciate yeah, everything. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, if somebody wants more information about TTI, there you go, more, Ron. Roadrunner, or any of the wonderful products that you guys have, how do they do that? Well, they can always go to our website at ttiblakemore.com. That's and, it. And uh, they, yeah. can, they can see everything that we make right there. I mean, all the lures, all the hooks, except for the new lure and the new hook. It won't be out till November, but... I'll have that ready to go by November first. Actually, it'll be on Halloween night. I'll have it. I'll have it. All ready. right, you'll be working so on, on Hall- Halloween night. Well, Ron, thank you, man, for being with us. Thank you, Ron Wong, for setting this up. Uh, and we'll have you back on the yeah, radio we'll, also. We'll give you. Oh, you count me in. Count we'll, me in anytime. We'll give you more notice, maybe uh, thirty minutes next time. Okay, <laughs> so uh, thank you, Ron, buddy. Take care. All right. Have All right, guys, one. you be blessed. Have All a right. good one. Have a good one. Now, let's take All a break. Right, take a break on Outdoors with Larry Ray, and we'll close out the show.